Ever wonder what makes us tick? What causes habits to form? And how it seems so easy and effortless for some people to just drop bad habits like they never existed. After getting sick, every single day I found myself falling further and further away from myself. I couldn't seem to figure out what my routine was going to be after having lost so much. I began wasting money on instant gratification rather than investing in the future of my health. I found myself striving towards goals that had no mental or emotional or even physical ROI. And that routine has become so negative that it's time for change. As quickly as that routine started, I can end it. So I'm going to hit the uh, lift off without hitting the lift off. I'm just going to do the max snatch clean and jerk. I have a feeling Neil is going to do it with me, but I'm going to grab my, which is not in here, grab my Ronin just in case, because what I want to do is shoot with the Ronin for him while he's doing the wad at least. So maybe we'll lift together, which isn't very, there isn't so many angles you can get with the Ronin with a lift because it'll be just on one platform but uh yeah so maybe it'll just be cool ish clips of him with the 50 millimeter while i'm lifting with him one camera will be down one camera will be in my hand and then the ronin will be for the wad that'll be cool Heed my word. Do not stop lifting. No, don't. What am I doing? Two, two forty-five. Two forty-five. I'm gonna call this my final. I was just giving my camera the the sub point. I hate knee wraps. They're so much easier than knee sleeves, but they fall off every time. So this is when you know John's gone too far. It doesn't fit anymore. Mm -mm.
right, that's today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried something a little bit different that I'm sort of stealing. I don't want to say stealing, but uh, in inspired by. Let's use that because, let's be honest, all creatives steal from other creatives. And if you're lucky enough to come up with your own sort of unique awesomeness, it's even better, but I loved the style of two things. So Peter McKinnon, awesome YouTuber, obviously blew up this year. Uh, he did a story time sort of uh, vlog, which I loved. I thought it was awesome. It was actually, it seemed like it was an accident. I think it was, and uh, it ended up being a beautiful disaster, if anything. And then another channel called Play the Game Films. It's Justin Escalona. He's in film school right now, and he's got a couple of friends where he does daily docs. He calls them, and they're super awesome. Another inspiring set of videos that come out daily. He did a narrative for some short films, so it's not in his daily vlog, so technically it wouldn't be stealing because the narrative is a narrative. At the beginning of this video, you had me introing or bringing you into the video with sort of this narrative, and this wouldn't be how it is every time where it's sort of like super existential. I, I chose to do this because of the transition that I'm currently making for sure. You know, before, if you noticed in my videos, it was really, really low all the time and I would start off pretty motivated and then at the end of the day, it just crash, gone, no more energy to do anything. And that's because of the routine that I've been in. And like I explained earlier in this video at the beginning, the new routine I fell into because of being sick trapped me into this sort of downward spiral where I was just falling further and further away from who I was at the time before I got sick. I let that take over and that's just, you know, buying certain, you know, bad habit type foods. It was just, it's comfort. It's something that like, it's easy. It's, it, I've lost so much with getting sick. Uh, and I'm not the type of personality that just bounces back. I'm gonna be completely transparent. I've never been good at, you know, defeat. As John would put it, the other John, uh, John Glaude, I wear my heart on my sleeve as well. Uh, my emotions are exposed. You could never, I could never fake what I'm feeling to you. I will always show you exactly what I'm doing. And that also <laughs> makes it hard for me to lie. Whenever I try to lie to somebody, like selling a car, if it's beat up, I'll let you know. I'm not gonna try to sell you a piece of crap. But anyways, we're escaping the uh, topic that I started off here. Routine is, is what kind of got me to where I am. If you notice in my videos, I'm pretty thick. Um, I'm still under my heaviest weight. I'm still under 290, which is good. I haven't even gotten close to 300, which is typically my tipping point where it's like, hell no, I need to go back. So what I've learned and what I said in the, uh, the intro is like some people just have this ability to turn off bad habits. Uh, I remember working at Rock Tape and a friend of mine was just like, dude, just stop. Just don't do it. And I was like, <laughs> I'm sure, like I can tell myself right now, tomorrow I'm not going to have a donut or an energy drink and I'll wake up in the morning like, you know what, the, you know what I really want? I'm just gonna go get it. And it's just so easy for me to do it. You know, as an adult, you have the decision to do what you want. And what I wanna do now is turn it around. That routine is slowly but surely falling away from me. I'm a routine kind of guy. If I'm in, if anything I can attribute to this, I'm an addictive personality as well. So this is getting really chaotic, but I'm gonna explain this part really quickly. Um, luckily, it's never gotten me into drugs because. <laughs> as an addictive personality that is dangerous, but for energy drinks or for like, was in college, I started eating 7-Eleven sandwiches because they're really good and my addictive personality made me eat them daily. Just the same thing, fitness. I'm addicted to fitness. So when I do get into a routine with fitness, I do it daily and I do it to the fullest. So I'm currently getting that together. Right now I go Monday, Wednesday, and Friday to extreme. On Tuesdays, I'm gonna do my best to do something in the garage. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I think the the beginning was kind of low. Um, the change of the song helped lift the mood a little bit, and then I also changed the dialogue. The dialogue I had in there originally was just way too like, whoa! I like how it came out. I definitely think it was a pretty cool aspect. And then right there in the middle, all of that footage is pretty cool. That's the normal vlog stuff, and I'm hoping to bring that back uh, in a more regular basis. Like, that was shot on Monday, complete transparency. Today is Friday, and uh, I just haven't gotten around to editing and haven't found the motivation. Like, that day, I was super motivated to do this cool idea, the narrative, 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 and then obviously do a vlog after, and things kind of changed middle of the day, and then all of a sudden my mood went from like super motivated to <laughs> gone, done, can't do anything. Slowly built back to now. Today's been a good day, so. 
let's try to keep the ball rolling here. Uh, probably won't be doing any videos this weekend because tomorrow is a, a holiday party for some friends and then the day after is a holiday party for Sarah's uh, work into it. Last year I did a vlog with it, but this year I think I'm just gonna, you know, ease into it and not force anything. So I'll try to get some stuff next week starting on Monday and uh, the routine is starting to kick back up. So super excited about that. Hope you guys are excited too. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this sort of format. If you liked it, I'm going to do it a little bit more. If you thought it was kind of like, eh, I'll try it in a different way to see what you guys think about that. Um, and then we'll go from there. I think, I think this will be cool. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit that like button. And if you'd like to follow a complaint or send some positive vibes, leave a comment. And until next time, I'll see you later, crew.